thing about the season as we wind this down is it seems like it's long and you get to the last month and it seems as a fan, it's flying by. What's it like from your perspective? Uh, the best way I can put it is the days are long, you know, long days, but somehow you look up and it's September. So it's, uh, you know, the season flies, flies by in a perspective, but the days, they tend to drag on a little bit. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, Padres aren't going to be playing uh, deep into October. That may be for the next season, but most of you guys have plans. Some have winter ball plans. Other guys have, you know, different personal things going on. Let's start with what has now become uh, a personal cult following of mine, of yours, and that is on Twitter, your fascination with Halloween. Some great costumes you've had in the past. What do you have in the hopper this year? Oof. Well, I'll, uh, I think I'll be celebrating with my fiance. So, uh, does that know, mean it's going to be a tamer I, I was holiday? Thinking, I was thinking maybe a, a Zach Morris and Kelly Kapowski outfit. You nice. know, some, we'll some Bayside Height shirts, and you know, I'll get my hair done up nice and good. And <laughs> so I was thinking maybe that. Yeah. All right. All right. You know what? You've been. Uh, were you Mario or Luigi? I was Luigi. Luigi. Okay. Yes. So that was really cool. And then the um, Reno 911. Mm -hmm. You got to follow Travis on Twitter, <laughs> by the way. You'll see all of this stuff. It's not like it's just coming to me out of nowhere. Uh, you mentioned your fiance. So big plans for you in the wintertime there. Yeah, yeah, man. I got a, We got a wedding to plan, yeah. so it uh, should be fun. We're we're still trying to pick out a, an exact date. We know we're going to do it probably next off season, and uh, so not this off season. No, coming. no, no. Okay. We'll probably get it. Uh, you know, all the all the fun stuff out of the way. You know, the date set, the pictures, and uh, engagement parties, and you know, picking the groomsmen and the bridesmaids. So. She's giving you all this time. Oh, I got, I got plenty of time. Who are you? How are you figuring this out? Where were you when I was younger? I was like, I could have used a little of that planning advice. It seems like it happens like this. Yeah, no, uh, you know, she understands it's a long season, and I can't dedicate as, as much time as I need to to her in season. So in the, in the off season is when we get our quality time and get to hang out. How'd you propose to her? It was good, man. It was good. I think you'll like it. So it was over the, uh, the all-star break. Mm -hmm. I, um, we were in Ocean City, Maryland, and... Uh, I hired uh, a guy to make a, um, a sand sculpture. It was a big heart on the beach, had some roses and uh, some stones leading up to it. And it said, you know, Lindsay, will you marry me on it? And had dinner set up outside, right outside, uh, you know, on the beach, right in front of it, ocean in the background. And, uh, you know, the hard part was getting her down to the, to the beach without her seeing the, the big sculpture. So. Nice. Told her, you know, I think a sea turtle washed up on shore, you know, let's go check it out. So we kind of took an angle and came up in front of it and got down in front of it, got down on an knee, and, and she said yes. Yeah, were you nervous at all that she might not? You know, I wasn't nervous about that. Yeah. I was nervous that it was going to rain. Because if it yeah. rained, I had no backup plan, man. That was just out in the open, and <laughs> I just kind of would have been, you know, on a knee in front of this crushed sand sculpture saying, will you marry me? This is you know, this was the plan and it didn't work out. So. Whoa, what a hopeless romantic. <laughs> and you got hair tips today. I mean, what else you want from this guy? You know, we, we've, uh, first of all, wish you uh, congratulations Thank and you. a success in, in your planning stages and, of course, in your marriage. And we'll be looking for more on that on Twitter. Thank you. Uh, as we turn our attention to your, to your baseball career, I find it fascinating that it seemed like football was the sport that colleges were most interested in you. And you end up going to Stony Brook. Uh, I mean, it, and here you are as a major leaguer. So was it a tough decision for you to leave the idea of going football and becoming a ball player? Yeah, it, uh, it was. I, um, I had about probably 10 scholarship offers uh, to play football. Um, Could have gone to UConn to play football, be a wide receiver, and only one little lonely scholarship offer for baseball. So, you know, I was really leaning towards football, and my baseball coach kind of broke it down for me. He said, uh, listen, man, he goes, if you want to be a professional athlete, he said, baseball is your sport. He goes, at that time, I was uh, 170 pounds, six foot. And he was like, you know how big, you know, linebackers are in Division One football. He goes, if you go across the middle a couple of times, man, your career is going to be over. Mm. So I took those words to heart and, you know, went to Stony Brook and, and here I am.